Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Kathy at Attic Treasures Etc. And today I thought we would have some fun working with these awesome viewfinder reels that I found at Goodwill yesterday. I found a whole stack of them and they're all in good condition, but I just thought it would be fun to use them um, as embellishments in a, in a journal. So the first thing I did, since I was working on my woodland journal, was to make this cute little booklet. It's just a little accordion booklet out of some cardstock and some fussy cutting. And then I put a brad through the butterfly so that the viewfinder reel still spins. And if you hold it up to the light, you can still see the pictures underneath, or in the slides. So I had so much fun making that one, I thought I would go ahead and make this one. So this is just a two page little booklet um, it just opens up a, and then again the viewfinder reel spins to make it, you know, a little bit more interactive. Okay, so I had so much fun. I thought maybe we could have some fun together and work on one as an embellishment for a journal. So I'm going to grab this one and set it aside because this is one of the last things that I work with. The first thing I want to do is grab an envelope and I have some paper here from a paper bag that I started um, cutting apart to use because, you know, I mean, look at it. It's, it's awesome. Okay, so I'm going to cut down this envelope to roughly four by three. Yeah, four by three. Okay, so let's see, let me get a little bit more in the middle so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm at five, so I'll cut it at nine. We have all of our bills on auto pay, but um, they keep sending us these envelopes to send the payment back in, so I guess I'll just use them. All right, so now that I've got that done, I'm going to cut off the flap. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do instead of cutting it off is glue it down. And I want to open it on the top and the bottom. So I'm just going to shave off just a tiny bit from each. Just enough so that I can open it out. So now, oh, I need to do three inches. <laughs> I forgot that part. Now I'm going to open it out and I'm going to collage this on. Let me get my parchment paper. And I'm going to use collage medium. You can use Mod Podge or, or glue stick or whatever you have, but I really like this collage medium. So I'm going to use that. I'm just using a foam brush that I got at the dollar store. A whole package of them, like a six for a dollar. It's a pretty good deal. Let me get it on here, sort of straight. I, I'm going to trim it afterward, of course. I'm going to trim it the top and the bottom. And now I'm also going to collage on the top, do some of the, you know, just to kind of give it a finish with the collage medium. Because I, I like the feel of it. And I like the way it looks. This is uh, the Distress Collage Medium by Ranger. And it's in, it's matte. So um, you can even color the collage medium with your reinkers but you know you would only want to do a little bit at a time I have not tried that but I did watch Tim Holt's demo on it and I thought that was kind of slick okay so I'm going to set this aside to dry and then the next thing I'm going to do is take this old piece of uh, cardstock and I'm going to collage this on because I'm going to fussy cut these owls out 
but I want to have I want them to have some substance. So I'm gonna uh, collage it onto the cardstock. These owls um, came from the Golden Book Encyclopedias, which I am still sort of in the process of uh, making a journal out of them, but I've been working on other journals in between, so I haven't spent too much time working on those, but that is definitely on my list because I love the cover. So if you, you know, I ran across them, they were free at a garage sale. It wasn't a whole set, but it was, you know, several. Okay, so while that's drying, I'll close this up for now. And I don't have any water in here. And also, on that demo, Tim Holt said, don't just keep rinsing your, your brush and water and then using it in the glue because then you just put water into the glue and um, I can't remember why he said that wasn't a good idea but I'm just going to go with it. Okay, so I'm going to cut this. Actually, I'm going to hold on to this and I'm going to go ahead and dry these with, with my dryer so I'll be right back. While, that, while the owls are, or while this piece is drying, I'm going to make sure I get out some of these wrinkles. Not that they really matter because uh, they're gonna, they, they won't really get in the way at all, but it doesn't hurt to smooth it down a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna let that continue drying. And in the meantime, I'm gonna cut out these owls. Now I know a lot of people like to use little scissors for fussy cutting. Uh, seriously, I just use these. <laughs> the trick is to turn the paper and not the scissors. Okay, so he's done. I'm going to go ahead and ink around him. Get rid of some of these white edges. And having the uh, owl on a backing like the cardstock is really helpful because I, it's, he's a lot easier to ink. <laughs> okay, we'll set him aside for now. And this is just about dry. So, um, I'm just folding these over for now because I'm not sure yet if I'm going to cut them off. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is fold it in half. and then to the center. <laughs> the center is kind of hard to see, so I'm going to highlight it a little bit. There we go. Good. Okay, so he'll fit there. I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, first of all glue it down. And I'm just going to use my glue stick for this. And then I'm going to sew it. Okay, change of plans. I'm not going to sew it. Instead, I'm going to radius the edges with my corner chomper. And I'm using the half inch radius. I'm going to ink around the edges. See, it says Palo Alto. 
I used to live near, in fact, I lived in Palo Alto <laughs> when I lived in California. That was one of the places that I lived. Lived in California for 20 years, moved around a little bit. That's where I learned how to drink espresso, and that was real espresso back in the 1970s before everybody started buying them on the, on the street corners. At least in Washington, if you're not familiar um, with, I mean, everybody's probably heard of Starbucks, but every single corner just about has a coffee stand. Now to reinforce this area, I'm gonna put some washi tape there. Um, I think I'll do it on the inside. Cut it about like so. Let's go ahead and put some glue on there. Just to give it some, just to make sure it stays. And we'll just cut it off right there. Okay, so that'll give us some reinforcement. So I have some paper here, some coffee dye paper, and it's just uh, stamped on and sprayed on and stuff like that. So what I'm gonna do, these are gonna be the pages. I'm gonna fold these in half. And I just cut them to fit inside. So I'm gonna um, cut these you know, round the corners on these two, same half inch radius. Okay, so I'm just gonna take my sewing machine and sew it straight in here. Now to make sure that they don't, that the pages don't slide, I really like these little wonder clips. I use them when I'm sewing, I use them to hold things down like this to, in place, and they're they're just great. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so if you didn't want to sew with a sewing machine, or you don't have a sewing machine, you could always just uh, staple it, or use like a little pamphlet stitch or something like that. So now we've got a couple of, just some pages in here for some journaling spots. So let's decorate the front. And one of the things I wanna to use to do that is I also have a bunch of these slides that I got at an estate sale, a whole bunch of them. So I'm just gonna pop the slide out like that. And I, I'll use that in another project, but in this one, I wanna put it right on the front because I just love the way that looks. And maybe even a little bit of lace, which I have right here. Okay, use some Fabri-Tac right here. Just a little bit. Just give it something to hang on to. Position it wherever you want. And this is going to go on top, and the owl is going to cover it, so I'm going to just put some glue right down the center. I looked through all these slides, and there's nothing spectacular in them as far as anything that I might want to save there, um, or print out, or anything like that. They're all basically, you know, family photos and, and things like that. Okay, now I want to... Go ahead, I want to glue this on, glue the owl on. All right, so that's parts done and it's looking good. On the inside, we can stamp in here or uh, put some other kinds of pictures or whatever we want to do. 
but on the back, the back page, okay, I'm gonna use this butterfly and I'm going to glue him on right over the hole, but not this part of the wing, just over here. But first I wanna ink him up to get rid of that white on the edges. It needs to be about right there, so I'll just cut off the, uh, the gluing right in this area here. I don't want to glue the wing to the viewfinder reel because I want it to be able to spin. Okay, that'll work. All right, now I'm going to poke it again right through the moth, right through the center. And I'm going to put a brad in there. It has kind of an old-timey feel. I sort of like that. And open that brad up so it sits on there. And voila! This spins. Nice little embellishment. We can go around and ink up the, the viewfinder reel on both sides and to give it something to grab onto I'm just going to take a little bit of this fabric I'm just going to put a little dab of glue I'm going to use a tiny attacher because I really like the way that looks but what I don't like is trying to hold the fabric Um, while I'm trying to center the, the tiny attacher, a little stapler. So I give it a little bit of help to begin with. Well, you have something to hang on to while you're spinning it around. Now I'm just going to put my little staple there. Okay, so we can call this one done now. It has some pages in here for journaling on. It has the viewfinder reel that you can spin. Um, this is a different style where it has this kind of a faux tag. <laughs> And uh, but they all spin and they come in this little envelope where you can um, embellish the envelope up like I did here with a tag and a slide. And I'll be putting some of these viewfinder reels in my Etsy shop. So if you're interested in purchasing some of them, I'll, I'll, they'll be in there. Um, I haven't done it yet, but I'll be doing it probably within the next day or two. If you enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing so. I'd love to have you. And if you've already subscribed, thank you so much. I'm so glad you're here. I'm glad all of you are here. And um, I will see you in my next video. And don't forget, let the serendipity find you. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.